Hello and guten Tag to both on Abuslutsch, Dahlhagel. As I said in the last video, um, over the holidays I have a lot of time, so I will be able to do um, some more historical videos here. And due to the fact that the American tanks came out recently with the last patch, I was thinking, okay, let's do um, some historical reviews or some historical infos about the N3 tanks, especially the N3 Lee and the light tank M3 Stuart, as you can see here. The M3 light tank Stuart, or M3 A1 tank, um, that's what I'm driving here right now, um, they are the second American tanks in the light tank tree, research tree, of the US tech tree, and it has a battle rating of 1.3. Um, it has a quite appropriate gun for this tier, some traditional armor layout, um, but suitable armor layout for the tier, and it's very fast and has a very high top speed for my opinion. But driving this tank is kind of um, underwhelming because the steering is not very good, it um, some kinds under and overperforms, so I think they have to adjust a little bit. But that's it for the in-game facts. Let's have some um, information or some um, background infos um, for this tank. Um, the development of this machine started when the US were observing the events in Europe. Um, the American tank designers then quickly realized that the light tank M2, um, the predecessor of this tank here, was becoming an obsolete tank and um, they needed to, to improve it a little bit more. Um, so the upgrade design of this tank should and did have a thicker armor. It was modified um, at the suspension and it had a new gun recall system. Um, so this was then the new light tank M3. The production of this vehicle started in um, 1941. Um, to be precise, it started in March 1941 and it ended in October 1943. Um, Despite the fact, or although the main criticism for uh, from the units that were using this tank was that the stewards lacked firepower, um, the M3 tank, like its predecessor, the M2A4, which is also here in the game, kept the um, 37 mm M5 main gun and the 30 cal Browning machine guns as side armament. Um, this can be seen very well in the game here itself, because the only upgrade you get from the M2A4 is the slightly thicker armor uh, at the front uh, and especially on the turret. The M5 Stuart, the successor of the M3, gradually replaced the old Stuart from 1942 on. The combat history for this tank starts in the North African campaign and the British Army was the first to use the light tank M3 in combat, um, but as a general Stuart due to the land and lease contract with the USA. From November in 1941 on, the first M3 Stuarts took part in the Operation Crusader during the North African campaign against the German Africa Corps. In this campaign, or overall in this campaign, the M3 showed very poor results against the combat-hardened and very experienced soldiers of the Africa Corps, um, because most of them already experienced the French and the, the Poland um, campaign and were um, experienced in tank fighting. Um, the German tanks haven't been superior fighting vehicles for this time, if you uh, think about that. Um, if you compare them to the M3, they were kind of in the armor layout and armament, they were kind of equal. Um, but the operation revealed that the M3 had several technical faults indeed. The British Army, which was using this tank at this time mainly, complained about the 37mm M5 gun and especially the poor internal layout of the, uh, the tank because this, this tank only had a two-man turret and um, it had a limited range um, which was a very severe problem um, especially in the highly mobile desert warfare at this time. Some units often outpaced um, the supplies and were stranded in, in the middle of the desert um, and they, because they ran out of fuel and couldn't make it back to base to uh, resupply. On the positive side, um, however, you can say the crews liked its relatively, or as you can see here in the game, the crews liked its very high speed and the mechanical reliability. First thing, like the high speed, as you saw it here, is very good modeled in the game itself and it's pretty accurate for this tank. 
a very different point of view had the troops in Europe. Um, for example, the other major land and lease uh, recipient of the M3, the Soviet Union at this time, was even more unhappy with the tank than the British troops in the desert. Against the most advanced German tanks for the time, at the Eastern Front at this period, this tank was undergunned and especially under-armored and had no real fighting chance against these tanks. Um, on top of that, it was likely to catch fire due to the um, high-octane radial engine and it was too sensitive to fuel, fuel quality for the Soviet army or the, uh, the Soviet economy. The M3's radial aircraft engine required very high-octane fuel um, but most of the Soviet tanks used diesel or low-octane fuel in very poor quality and they just couldn't handle that. Um, so, being less desperate than in 1941, um, the Soviets turned down an American offer to do further supply and despite the fact, the M3s continued in Red Army service at least until 1944, but only for reconnaissance usage. And again, as for the M3 Lee, the war in the Pacific um, showed very, very much better results for this tank. Um, the US Army deployed around about 110 or around about 100 Stuart light tanks to the Philippines in September of uh, 1941. And um, these tanks were the first ta US tanks to do um, tank versus tank battle for the US Army and in this tank versus tank combat occurred in uh, on the 22 December of 1941. Um, a platoon of five M3s, I guess, was five M3s, engaged the Imperial Japanese Army, which was equipped by the time with the Type 95 Hago. I don't know what, how you say that. Um, they were light tanks too. And they were kind of equal equal to the M3 Stuart tanks. They kind of had the same armor. Uh, they had a slightly worse gun, I guess. But nevertheless, the gun was kind of the same. It was a 7... No, it was a 37mm gun, I guess. But with um, weaker penetration values due to um, a lower muzzle velocity. Um, yeah, and this was the first combat for the US Army tank versus tank. Um, this 5 platoon or 5 man platoon of M3 tanks engaged the Japanese, but unfortunately, the um, commander of the M3 platoon um, got knocked out, or a tank got knocked out, and um, the other M3 stewards um, experienced some hits or uh, were got knocked out too and they got imprisoned by the Imperial Japanese Army and uh, yeah, were taken prisoners of war so the first tank battle was not that satisfactory for the US Army, I guess. Nevertheless, despite this first um, encounter with the Japanese um, armor, this tank proved to be um, effective uh, in the Pacific and although the US light tanks had proven effective in jungle warfare, by late uh, 1943, the US Marine Corps tank battalions were upgraded um, from the Stuarts to um, the almighty or well-known M4 Sherman tanks. So that's it for the combat history of this machine. It can be said that this machine was used all over the world during the war, in all different theaters of war, and it has to be proven that, uh, or proved itself, that this machine was effective in two theaters out of three theaters. With only Europe, it was not very effective. To give you an overall view over this historical factor of this tank, um, when the US Army joined the North African campaign in late 1942, um, the Stuart units formed a large part of the armor strength of the US um, brigades and divisions. And after the disastrous Battle of the Kasserine Pass, the stewards, or most of the light tanks of the Allies, were disbanded to scouting and screening missions in North Africa and uh, later in Europe. Nevertheless, there's one fun fact for this tank 
in the African campaign. An M3 Stuart tank um, was able to hit a tiger in the turret ring uh, and nearly knocking this tank out by blocking the turret ring so the tiger was uh, incapable of defending itself and nearly had to be given up so a Stuart tank nearly made it to um, yeah to kill a tiger tank or knock it or at least knock it out so it's pretty impressive I guess for this little tiny bugger here so despite all the drawbacks of this machine here um, the M3 Stuart was still an effective combat vehicle especially in the North African campaign and later in the Pacific theater um, in North Africa it was competitive it was equal to the German and Italian tanks and in the Pacific theater um, as the Japanese tanks were both relatively rare in numbers and they were lighter in armor than even the Allied tanks, it was an advantage to use this tank there. And uh, on top of that, in this environment, especially the rough terrain and poor roads of the tropical theater, it was an advantage to deploy light armor. Um, Sherman tanks were often too heavy for this kind of terrain. Overall, the Stuart was a very good recon tank and continued to serve in combat capacity until the end of the war. So that's it for the historical background of this little machine here. As always I hope it was fun, uh, entertaining and informative at the same time. Um, I hope I will see you on the battlefield sometime. Let me know. Um, do your best on the battlefield and um, I hope you have some nice holidays or even had some nice holidays. And I wish you all the best and see you next time. Bye!